Hello guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to Drew Tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Cloud AI. So once you have an active internet connection on your computer, open up your browser and simple type in Cloud that AI that's going to take you over to the official website of Cloud and to sign up is super easy. You can sign in with your Gmail account if you have a Gmail account like what I will do. So I'm going to continue with my Google account here. It's going to pop up and I'm going to just simple select that email address, scroll down, click and continue. And that's going to quickly, you know, let's say sign me into my account. I'm going to just quickly accept those cookies right here. From here, you can agree to Anthropic and accept those terms right here. You can choose as well if you want to subscribe to products promotion. You don't have to just go ahead and click and continue right there. It will ask you for your date of birth. So you want to go ahead and start filling your details right here. So what I recommend, just go ahead, fill in your date of birth. And once you go ahead and do that, you'll be able to continue from here. Now you have three packages right here, the free the pro and you have the max. I recommend that if you are just getting started, get started with a free account, right? But if you want to use some of those apps and connectors that comes with it, which I'm going to show you a bit later, you want to get the pro version, just 15 euros per month, but get started with a free account. So I'm going to choose the free one right here. And once you do that, you'll just have a few, let's say questions to answer. So I'm going to just choose, I understand right here. And it's going to ask me for my name. I'm going to just say, for example, Drew. Go ahead and click that little up arrow there. And it asks how you want to use it. You can just basically select what you want to use it for. I'm going to go ahead and just choose three. Then choose let's go right here. It's super straightforward. You can skip this for now. If you want to select one of these, you can. If otherwise, you can just choose I have my own topic. And once you do that, you're right in cloud, guys. And that's it. And as you can see, once you sign in, guys, you can see you're on the free plan. You can upgrade at any time. Then you have the, let's say, the text box here where you can start asking whatever you want. You can see that you're using the latest model here, which is the cloud for cloud summit four and you can go back and use let's say all the versions so if you come here you have all, all the versions that you can actually use and so you can easily access these as well right so this is what they actually offer now if you want to work with images and files you have a little plus to the lower left hand side you can click on that you can upload files you can take a picture you can add from your github and you can use project as well so if you have other projects you can actually use it right here it is super straightforward guys then right here you have the search and tools so you can go ahead and use like styles and you can choose if you want to have web searches on by automatic so you want to leave that you can add connectors directly from here so if you have connectors which i said if you're on the pro version you can use connector so let's say you want to search i don't know for example you want to do something within notion you can do that if you want to connect to your google account or your gmail or your onedrive or your google drive or canva whatever it is you can go ahead and select those connectors and then you can start working with prompts Right, so it is super straightforward, guys, and super easy. Now, on the left hand side, you can see there are the your options here. It's collapsed. So, if you want to expand it, use a top icon on the top left to expand it, and it's going to expand just like this. Right, and you have new chat, so you can click start a new chat. From here, you have your chats. Under this section, you're able to see your chat history. And if you have any chats there, you can always go ahead and find those chats. So, I'm going to go ahead and create a new chat. Let's just ask it what is. Cloud, for example, and it's gonna uh, and it's gonna basically give me some answers there. So while it's doing its thing, I'm gonna show you that on the left hand side, I can go to chats, and you will see that I have the chats there. If you have multiple chats, let's say a lot, you can use the search right here to search for those chats. Otherwise, you can find your chat history, you can delete it, and you are able to click and select a few of them and delete them as well. Now let's go back to my chat. I'm going to go to the recent chat here. Now from this section here, guys, you can always go ahead and let's say you want to rename this chat. You can by click the, the name on the upper left hand side. You'll have this drop down. You can start. You can rename it by clicking on that to rename it what you want. Or on the left hand side, you can click the three dots and you can click rename from here as well. That's going to rename my chat. I'm going to rename it Drew, for example. Toots, for example, and save. And you'll see that it changes right there. 
Now, on the lower left-hand side as well, you have your account. So you can click on account. You can sign out from here. You have more information, right? You'll find privacy policy, usage, and about Antrop right there. You have option to upgrade your account. That's going to take you over to the, to the, let's say, those plans page where you can choose to upgrade and you can see what they actually offer there. So you can choose if you want to um, upgrade right there. Let's go back in. You have the option to change the language if you change the language from here these are the available languages and you have settings right here which you can go to settings i'm going to show you what's in settings you can change your name right you can say what should it call you you can change the name right here you can choose an icon so if you want to use something you can just select one of these and use whatever icon you want it's going to create it here you can fill out some extra details right here you also have the appearance so if you want to put it in dark mode you can like i just showed you right here light mode the nice thing is that fonts, you can change fonts in Claude as well. So if you want to use the dyslexic font or you want to use match font from your system or default font, it's you can use it as well. No, the, the match system simply means the type of font that you have on your computer, right? And how you can use this is to change font on your PC. So if I click my Windows icon here and type in fonts and go to fonts here in my PC from control panel, you will see that I have a bunch of fonts that I can actually select from. So depending on whatever font you select within your PC, this, that's going to be recorded as your system font and it will be the one that shows up in the chats on Claude. So that's how you do it. On the accounts, you have the option to delete your account, right? And you have the option to log out from your account. Privacy page, for some reason, that doesn't work. So we will skip that. And of course, the billing is there's nothing there. Of course, you can upgrade your plan. Features, it basically shows you what's there. And connectors is basically how you can add those different apps. So connectors, by default, it's showing GitHub as the only one. But if you click on Browse, you have web connectors and you have desktop extensions that you can actually go ahead and look into. So these are quite a few useful ones. But the ones that you're probably going to mostly use is those web ones. So you have Jira, JSM, Atlassian right there, Asana, Canva, Cloud Fear, you have quite a lot here. You have um, Notion, you have Monday.com, you have NVIDIA right here. I think I've, they also have something like Spotify, if I'm not mistaken. I've seen it somewhere in the past, but they have quite a lot, guys. Quite a lot that you can actually. Gmail, Google Drive, Google Connector, HubSpot. You can go ahead and check them out, right? So these are the few that you have, and you can basically connect them. But you need to have the Pro plan to be able to connect those to your account. In a nutshell, guys, that's basically what you get with Cloud. You can do a lot with it. I also want to show you one more thing, guys. On the left hand side, you have something called artifacts. If you click on that, you are able to do quite a lot. So you can have, you have some inspiration right here. You also have things that learn something. You have the life act. And the cool thing, you can actually play games there on Cloud as well. You also have be creatives. And of course, touch grass. But the cool one is, for example, games. You can go ahead and you can choose, for example, this game here. I'm going to click on this. It's going to basically load up in a second. And you can quickly go ahead, single user or multi-user. Let's say I want to play one minute game. And you can start playing games here in Cloud. How super cool is that? So guys, that's in a nutshell about Cloud. That's how you can go ahead and use Cloud for free. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.